So playfulness. Maybe this was an energy of a, this was a person who you kind of had a little, some of you as a situationship. It just kind of started that way and it just, you know, got a little deeper. Um, but now they see you as, you know, a soulmate or didn't expect that they attracted a soulmate or you guys just didn't expect for the connection to be. Um, disconnected or connected like there was a connection here free yourself i think this person went into this mode and just walked away but now they want to give the relationship a chance so i feel like this person just made a poor decision based off of a, a program that they're used to operating from and some of the, for some of you finance and career or just caring too much about the 3d life and um maybe their focus is just really their work and that's just where they're at here we have to um, trust. So this will unfold and past life relationship. And so it's because I feel there's history with this person. Um, there's obviously history. And, and again, I do feel like there's a deep connection with your person. Like it's almost unexpected. So let's see what we got for you. Oh, they're all here. There we go, lovers. I mean, there is. I do feel your person feels, and it was two, two, two when I said that. I do feel a per, your person feels a harmonization. So trapped in fear, I feel this is that. For, so we saw for yourself. It's this mental conflict this person goes through, where they have a program and they have a goal, and nothing outside of that will interfere. We've got Hierophant here. This, to me, has to do with commitment. They're trapped in fear, maybe, about commitment. Here, they're changing perspective, but this is them. This is the hanged man, and I know they're thinking about you a lot. I feel like you can't leave their mind, and, of course, Sacral Chakra. This is, a, to me, this is a deep connection. I always associate Sacral Chakra with Leo energy, um, but just the Leo energy also of the the strength card, the sun, um, and the ace of wands here. So definitely strong sexual attraction. There's just a, a magnetic pull with you. And they can't stop thinking about this connection. They were, I do feel this person did feel really happy with you. They've really, this, there's an enjoyment of company here. It's what it feels like. Um, I didn't say I'm going to put these back, but we have air sign here and water sign. So queen of swords, king of cups. So I think they just cut things off before out of fear, before they got emotionally attached. Um, but for me, I didn't say anything to you. Give me more on this trapped in fear. Yeah. So two of pentacles and the page of pentacles. So this obviously has to do with finances and this person's perspective of accomplishing things and not getting stuck in a commitment that will probably withhold them from moving forward. So this person has a hard time juggling relationships and their life, meaning getting their life situated, feeling stable. And there's an uh, they don't give too much. So they can only give you a page of like a, they can only give you a, um I feel like time and they do that intentionally, right? Because it's it's their own mind that gets stuck with this perception, this program that they're in. Now, for some of them, for some of you, they may have had other people and this is part of their program where to them, they just see it as dating, right? That's why it's so playful. So I will say a warning here, um, be careful with this person. Um so focused on things being so light usually these kind of people do have more emotional setbacks in the sense of um because it's like why i don't know i never understand it like when people multiple like have date multiple multiple people and there's this kind of mindset of oh you know you can't just be with one person but yet it's like how do you find the time that to me, when you have that much time to be with multiple and engage with multiple people, that means your mind and emotions are committed to multiple different places, meaning you're not focused on yourself, neither your money, nothing. Like you can't give 100% in other areas. That's relationships take too much time. 
And I feel this person has that kind of mindset. Yeah, we have eight of pentacles. I'm just going to take it because this person has this mindset. They, they have a hard time focusing. You know, it's like I feel an imbalance. And again, pentacles. So this has a lot to do with their 3D life and what they believe their goal is, but also how they go about it. So give me more of this Hierophant. It's like, you know, yeah, it's a great goal, but they're still trapped in fear, right? So it's like, well, what are you accomplishing? So here, again, institution, the Hierophant, to me, this has to do with their goal, their program, magician. This is, they're very, I feel like this person, there are good intentions with the plan, um, but there's something about this magician energy. Let me get more. Give me more of this magician. I'm just, I can't explain it right now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the magician, we've got death and 10 of cups. It's so like set in stone. That's why it's like the higher fit. This person is very firm with creating their 10 of cups. So death energy is this has i feel this has to do with their past i mean obviously it does have to do with their past and i feel like there's an energy of also a relationship can dead your accomplishments what you can manifest your abundance it's like they feel it they can it's they can also interfere so give me more of this death let me get one for this death energy but they're also very focused on transforming their life. So high priestess. Yeah. This person has a lot of deep thoughts. Yeah. And plans. Three of wands. And you have king of wands. Very much in, in their mission. This is probably you. They also see you very goal oriented. But they also see you. They see you as someone in their life. So it's almost like I can see you in my future. But will it interfere with what I'm doing now? And they are very deep in their thoughts about this. So it's not that they don't think about you. I really do feel they think about you. You remember this hangman? I knew it. Look, guys. There goes the Leo energy, strength card, and the devil. So they think about you a lot. And I think it's strong sacral energy here. Um, very strong sexual energy. I think there is strong attraction with your person for sure. Um, I think, give me more of this devil. Page of Wands was in the bottom. Wow. <laughs> Page of Wands with the devil. There's a strong sexual attraction here. Um, but I think this person's need, because we have the devil twice here, it's also the need to accomplish something, material things. The devil is not just toxic energy. The devil represents material life and their focus on material things, their ego, right? It's very strong. I mean, we've got the page of cups and the ace of cups, but they're also very strong about you. So this is a battle. The lovers wants to pop out. I'm gonna clarify the devil again. Give me the devil. They do feel bound to you. And for some of you who connect with this past life relationship, like on a spiritual level, they do feel that. I mean, yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Guys, the devil's not a negative thing here. The devil is just an obsessiveness to their focus, right? They're focused on their pentacles. So they're focused on their 3D life. They do have a deep connection with you. They do see you. I feel they see you in their plans. But there is fear that it will interrupt. And we're back with this three of wands again and the king of wands. So yeah, it's a strong energy and they see you in their plan, Sagittarius. Ooh, this is strong energy. Give me more on the sacral energy. Give me more on the sacral chakra. Give me more on the sacral chakra. Yeah, so they're clear. Um, wow. Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords. They're really like in their feelings about this. Um, 
Six of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. I feel like this person, you know, for some of you, this is why it was, it was like a dating situation. And probably Ace, I really do feel a situationship because this person um, has very strong, I feel a very strong character in the sense of they compartmentalize their life in a certain way. So here, the sacral with the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. They know they didn't give to you. Um, and I think they, they wish they did. It feels like they wish they did. So they're really knocking themselves for that. I also feel like a truth came out about probably them engaging in other relationships. So this person possibly didn't, again, if it's a situationship, you guys... This person didn't have other doors closed. Again, it's the way they see things. And this is, you know, women do this too. I feel like, I'm, I don't know, for some reason, some, I just heard like, oh, men, men, no, no, no. I see women do this all the time where we keep multiple partners and we don't know how to close doors. And, and this, this is a human issue. This is why the dating world is where it's at. People don't know how to close doors. So, and it's really about, it has a lot to do with fear of abandonment, fear of being alone. So, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely some of that devil energy. Again, the pride. So 3D life, there's a lot that has to be changed. I don't see it as um, entirely a negative thing because, and the only reason I say that guys, I mean, again, we, we've got to place the boundaries. Oh my God, if this is Queen of Swords. I think this is you. The fact that I can't pick it up. So I feel like this is you. We've got to place boundaries and you have to place the boundaries that are important to you, um, Sag. So if this person, you, we don't want to take breadcrumbs either. And I do feel this person was doing Page of Pentacles. So if they come around, which I feel they will, um, this is where you, you place your demands. I always tell this, and I tell this to my girlfriends, Saj, um, don't ever take anyone back who you just had a situationship with. If it was a situationship, don't take them back as a situationship. At this point, if someone's coming back, it's because now it's time to demand something because there's something good that you have, right? And it's not just a good good, but it's something good. It's like your, your energy, the way they feel with you. So therefore, you demand a relationship at this point because taking them back for the old behavior is going to again perpetuate and repeat the same cycle and that's not what that's not the goal here right what just came out queen of cups i feel like you know protect your emotions here so give me more of this ace of swords i want to get more of this ace of swords because i feel like this is about truth and a conversation yeah whatever is hidden yep a conversation about commitment four of wands this is about truth and where we stand. And I feel that serious dialogue and that serious conversation needs to happen. If they return, this is where you can lay your 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 demands on and your expectations clear um, in communication and really see where this person's mind is at. All right, let's see what the blockages are. Is there, what's the blockages for Sag? What is the blockages for this connection? Yeah, aware. Stop sweeping it under the rug and there goes third party. They have a secret. So, uh, my goodness. I. This to me, this is not, this doesn't scream. I've been with this person forever. This, this feels like an, an, a playful energy. This is a person who... They didn't expect to find someone or have this kind of deep connection with you. And they just kind of been doing their thing, growing themselves um, in their career, in their finances. And then you came along and now this awareness, there was an awareness of something you found out truth about doors not closed. And that's really what it is. So... Let's see what is the guidance. You know, I want to see what's the untold message of the heart spirit. What is the untold message of the heart of this person? What is the untold message of the heart? 
nervous you make me lose my cool and i just don't know how to act in your presence yeah because it's how they make it i think this really tests test tests them you know in the very near future i do feel they're coming i do feel you're gonna um they're gonna come they're returning i, I feel within some time in the next couple of weeks you guys so See what else is the untold message of the heart for this person? Pressure. I have so many guys. This is really what it is. I have so much going on in my life, and I'm struggling to juggle it all at once. Yeah, it's there is a lot, the, and this has to do with their own programming, their mental battle. You know, this is a mental battle. All right, so what's the guidance for Sag? Gratitude, thank you. Yes, practice gratitude. Take one moment day to think about the things and people you are grateful for in life. When you have a grateful heart, this will multiply and more grateful blessings will be coming your way. Be thankful for what you already have. Yep, so this is just about you really finding your own space and being grateful. Also, even being grateful for meeting this person. I know it doesn't feel that way. You know, I I don't condone third party situations, but there's a there is an honesty we have to speak to ourselves when we engage in those connections called situationships, right? We're just sleeping with a person and not really reflecting back that we want a serious connection so we open the door to casual therefore that's what you have to also take accountability that you've opened the door to casual so if you want a relationship then you open the door just to relationships that's what comes in but if you want if you open the door to casual then that's what you're going to get so then you know we can't really be upset right <laughs> because we opened that door um so either way, I do just feel like you guys did have a good, this is, and this, this is someone you've, I feel like there was an understanding and you knew it, but I think there, there are more emotions here and it just wasn't really expected um, because I feel like there is a mutual, like, there's a common ground with you guys, you know, and you know, this person can close the door to the past and move forward with you. You know, but I feel where they have to feel like it's, they can is this pressure. Like, can they do all of the things they want to accomplish and have you? And you'll be okay without stopping them, right? Because it's that energy that I'm saying that if they're trying to manifest and create, would being in a relationship, Ten of Cups, be the death of that goal? And I mean... It's, it's the way they perceive it, right? I'm not saying it's right, but it, it's a perception here, right? So you guys got to have Pisces here, um, Gemini, Scorpio energy, um, Cancer energy, Capricorn, Leo. So we have celebration. These are wonderful times ahead to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's a site worth celebrating. Take note of how it shines on you. You will have reasons to celebrate. Maybe this will... I feel like this might have a turnaround for a lot of you and a conversation is necessary in order to get clear about what makes this person nervous. Why do they feel like they can't manage it? Obviously, we're not here to baby people, but let's understand their goals, you know? You can't, you can't knock someone for having goals in life. Transformation. Accept and embrace the shedding of old skin as you continue to evolve and awaken. And this is a, probably you also undergoing a transformation in this time. And this also is you also con um, accomplishing your goals. So either way, maybe this person's goal-oriented ways also fueled you in some ways to focus on you as well. And this is where something, this is why I trust the, the thing, trust that the situation um, is calling for you to have faith, like it's going to unfold. Um, you're going to probably understand things in a different way, which is why we have gratitude. Um, there's, there's some, just something about this situation that feels like there's a reason for it. And you're also, despite of it not being a full blown relationship at the time, you got something out of this as well. So Saj, I'm going to leave it there.